you came across this question in the jump exam how will you solve it it's actually very easy now let's solve together the question says calculate the percentage composition of water of crystallization in this compound i believe you can see the compound in this particular practice question and they are asking us to calculate the percentage composition of something specifically in this compound and it is water of crystallization and this is the part of the water of crystallization in this compound this part of 7h2o so what do we do to solve this question is actually very easy and from the look of things this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called percentage composition so what do we do to solve this question i'm about writing out the formula that must be noted whenever you see any question on this particular aspect because at the end of this video lesson i'm going to give you your own practice question so you solve and provide the answer in the comment section so let's get into this practice question so basically i said that this particular question is from the topic in chemistry called percentage composition and percentage composition is given with this symbol which is percent and what is the formula to solve questions under this aspect it is done by this formula which is please follow closely molar mass of water of crystallization i'm using the acronym water of crystallization and what was the part of water of crystallization in this compound the part with 7h2o that is water of crystallization if there was 20 h2o that is the water of crystallization do you understand so anything that is after the point is the water of crystallization in this context so molar mass of the water of crystallization divided by molar mass of the full compound do you get molar mass of the compound in this context the full compound the way the compound was written we we'll calculate the molar mass together and get the answer is actually very easy times 100 you know we are to calculate for percentage so we must times by 100 now the next thing to do is to try to calculate the molar mass of the water of crystallization and also molar mass of the full compound now before we do that we have to try to bring out the elements that are actually made of this compound and they are the first one i can see here is copper after copper i saw sulfur after sulfur i saw oxygen i believe you are following after oxygen lastly i saw hydrogen and at the end again i saw another oxygen which we've already written the reason for doing this is to write out their atomic masses for copper the atomic mass is 64 for sulfur it is 32 for oxygen it is 16 and for hydrogen it is one so the first thing we do is to calculate the molar mass of water of crystallization and what was the part of water of crystallization in this question 7 h2o so let's calculate the molar mass of water of crystallization in the compound and you please write it out the way it was written it is 7 h2o so you bring it out like that so it's going to be 7 into what's the atomic mass of hydrogen said one and how many hydrogen atoms are we having here two so it's going to be one times two plus what's the atomic mass of oxygen 16 i believe you can do this it's actually very easy so molar mass will not be equal to 7 into 1 times 2 that is 2 2 plus 16 that is 18 so 7 into 18 means you know bracket means times so it's 7 times 18 what's that 7 times 18 that's 126 so that is 126 grams per mole so 126 grams per mole is the molar mass of the water of crystallization so the next thing here to do is to calculate the molar mass of the full compound and to do this is actually very easy and here is the full compound let me write it down again the compound is CuSO4.7H2O so let us calculate the molar mass of this full compound it's actually very easy molar mass of the full compound so it's going to be copper atomic mass what did I say it is 64 so here will be 64 and what becomes the next symbol to write plus 64 plus sulfur is what 32 atomic mass and oxygen is what 16 
and how many atoms of oxygen do we have four it's going to be 16 times four now please note that this symbol you are looking at here which is dot it means addition do you understand it is, means plus so it's going to be plus and what did you get for our seven h2o initially when we solved one two six do you understand you don't have to start solving again don't stress yourself just pick what you solve and impute do you get so with this let's press our calculator get to get a full uh the molar mass of the full compound so it's going to be 64 times plus 32 plus 16 times 4 I, I got 160 for this part so molar mass will not be equal to 160 plus 126 so 160 plus 126 that is a uh, 286 so 286 grams per mole is the molar mass of the full compound i believe you can see it here definitely the molar mass of the full compound is supposed to be larger than the molar mass of just water do you get so let's impute parameters to get our answer what becomes the percentage composition is going to be equal to molar mass of water crystallization and in this question it is 126 divided by grams per mole divided by the molar mass of the full compound which is 286 times what 100 so imputing all of this into the calculator we get uh, uh 126 divided by 286 times 100 that is 44.05 percent okay i had 44.05 percent and you already know that 44.05 percent is approximately 44.1 percent and you already know that 44.05 percent is approximately 44. percent one percent i believe you know how this was done it's actually very easy because because this value is five so we can add it to zero so making here to be one i believe you know how to approximate so that's for that so the point here we've gotten the answer for the percentage of water of crystallization in this compound to be 44.1 percent so let's check our option to see if the answer is there and from the look of things the answer to this question becomes option a you can see it's actually very easy now get ready for your own practice question now if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click on the subscribe button if you're watching this video on youtube if you're watching it on tiktok do well to click on the follow button and also share with your friends thanks for watching so here is your practice question and i'm going to just change the compound here that was copper sulfate dot seven h two o becomes something else like na2 co3 dot 10 h2o this is a compound and we are still looking for the percentage composition of water crystallization but in this context it was 10 water and the next thing we have to write out the atomic masses of each of them for so, uh, sodium sodium is 23 the next is carbon carbon is 12 oxygen is what 16 and hydrogen lastly is one so i believe with all of this information given you can actually solve this question without stress thanks for watching